Hi! Hi. Hey, sorry for not being here for... It's been a while, okay? It's been... Three days? Um, hi. Hello. Uh, can you say hi to Instagram, please? Gay shirt. Nice shirt. Thank you. I... I actually really don't know if I like it. Uh, but it's, um... It's a... It's a polo with, uh, birds on it. I think it looks really stupid. But I thought I'd wear it. Because why not, you know? Anyways, yeah. Get to Instagramming. Comeback stream. Oh my god. Jake S. He does one stream with Bilzo. Uh, Emily, thank you for the eight months. Hannah, thank you for the seven. Guys, just one more sub, please, and I'll keep streaming. Please, can we get some more subs? <laughs> please, please, just one more. I lost my water. Yo. What's up, chatters? Oh, I feel so weird being live. <laughs> I haven't been live on this setup in so long. <laughs> Guys, did you miss me the three days that I was gone? Did you, did you miss me? Be honest. No. I can get one yes, surely. No. Yes! Thank you, Sarah X Swift. Oh, man. Thank you, man. Um. Guys, I have a revolutionary thing to show you. And I don't know if you're ready for it. I don't know if you're ready. I don't know if this is. I don't think. I don't know if you have it in you to see this. Um. Look at this fruity pose that John A is doing in the sack. Look at him! This is a gay man. I'm serious. Uh, we recreated it! Yay! We're friends! Yay! He's actually a fruit. No, he is. Uh, guys, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh... I don't want to be the one instigating on my own channel today. Uh, who? Now, I told you you could upload Sillymus to, um, to, to, to Spotify Podcast, right? <laughs> Sorry. Now, who the fuck... Posted Sillymus on Apple Music. You can just get Sillymus on a- Look, it's just- It's just there. Like, you can just get it. Also... Look, isn't this crazy? This is crazy! This is crazy. Look, 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 look. No, 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 hold on. Um, this one. It better not say the word. It better not. Oh, someone's not done their job. Um, <laughs> hello. Stone Pass singing last Christmas? No, because isn't this crazy? This is Stone Pass song and it's just there. Anyways, um, 
Shout out to whoever put uh, my lyrics half done on Genius. Uh, thank you. That's so cool. Now people who don't know the lyrics to the most famous Christmas songs can look them up. Yep. Guys. I, um... I thought we'd cut the shit. You know, usually I give you a bit of an intro uh, before before I get on to, you know, my story time or whatever I'm doing. Um, but I, like, genuinely was, like, really in danger this weekend. And it was all because I went to cut Bilzo's hair. Or this week. I don't, I don't know what day of the week it is. This week. So... Uh, you guys might know, not yesterday, not the day before, but three days ago, I went to Fig's house. Um, which, by the way, don't let people deceive you. Fig lives in fucking Pleasant Park. He lives in the craziest house. I have a any streamer that whose house I've ever been to, uh, crazier than Tubbo's house. Crazier than Scott. This house is fucking insane, the place that he lives at. So we're there. We do our little stream. Uh, you might you might have seen this clip from it. Um, this clip looks really really fake, uh, but I promise you this is a this is real. This is not. I didn't stage this. Um, this. Hold on. Yeah, I feel like that. It's uh, it's whatever. Um, it's crazy, like, how does my how does my body do this motion where it goes like that? Do you see that? Yeah. And so, I went to Fig's house. It was pretty cool. Um, yeah, that was about it. I mean, um, there wasn't there wasn't really much going on. We played a bit of Jackbox, uh, Monk W's and chat, you know. Uh, I slid through mud in white jeans and dirtied them forever. Uh, it was fun, you know, it was fun. Um, it wasn't actually Monk W. Uh, yeah, no. But my white jeans are, uh, sad and, uh, dirty. And, uh, in the morning, I got a text from Connie, who's the person who gave me my James Merritt ticket, and went, I have another James Merritt ticket. If you wanna, if you wanna bring one of your friends, or one of our friends, I was like, Connie, this is so charitable of you. Of course I'll bring another friend to see a James Merritt gig with me. And so I was like, Johnny, do you want to come with me? He goes, fuck off. I was like, Scott Post, do you want to come with me? He goes, Schlatt has told me to edit three podcasts this weekend. I was like, fuck off as well. Uh, Fig had to stay with his mum. So I was like, I'll go with Harry, right? Oh, we're boyfriends. Oh, hearts and shit. We're so happy together, me and Harry. I know, I know. Uh, so me and Harry, we were like, calm, let's go to another gig together. Me and Harry go to loads of gigs. Um, because the, we're the two people who are like most active to go to Brighton. And I was like, calm. Uh, we wake up and um, we're like, okay, let's go and take the train to Brighton. I don't know if you were in Brighton a few days ago. It was fucking pouring with rain i walked outside for three minutes and my jacket had turned a different color because it was so wet and i was like okay this is bad right so i told harry when we got all the way to brighton let's go and uh let's go to a coffee shop right harry can get some coffee i can get something to eat and uh you know we can just like plan out our day a little bit we're responsible i know we're responsible i know this is awesome um, I love me and Harry and our little coffee shop date. We walk in and we're just uh, talking about um, the James gig that we're going to. You know, what, what was going to go on. And um, I turn around and I shit you not, this is like, this is like fucking... I turn around after mentioning the James gig. Sitting down next to me is James Marriott. I'm like... Hi. Uh, and so I went... Oh my god! Hi, James! And he looked at me, and he was like... And 
And I was like, what? You and I are friends. Why are you doing that weird face at me? I turn around. He's in the middle of a meeting with his manager. And I've just cut her sentence off. And I had to sit there in the coffee shop. Three seats away from them. Drinking orange juice going... Oh, whoops. Um, so if you're James Merritt's manager and you're listening to this, love you. Uh, sorry for that. <laughs> uh, I didn't mean to. And um, we walked outside of this coffee shop. I turned behind me and it's fucking... It's James Marriott's whole mod team. Like, I don't know what the fuck they're doing outside the coffee shop. If they're like, if they're like his bouncers, where like, if they see someone they don't want to enter, they like block the doorway. But I'm like there and I meet all of James Marriott's mods again. I'm like, hi. Uh, one of them offered me a, a Jaeger bomb and then I said I was going to get them dropped from the James Marriott team and they almost cried. Um, and I was like, okay, let's leave. And it starts getting really rainy again. And I'm like, I need to buy a hat. Because I don't want to get my hair wet all the time. You know, that's what you do. When it's raining, you buy a hat. So, uh, we go into this uh, little shop and I buy this hat. Uh, I lost the hat. It's somewhere in this room. It's just, a, it's just like a little beanie, you know? An umbrella? No, no, I didn't want to buy a whole umbrella. Uh, so I just bought a hat. And uh, me and Harry were just chatting, but it was only like 2 p.m. And the James Marriott gig was at 7 p.m. And we had nothing to do. And when it's freezing cold, you don't just stay outside. I walked to the top of the street with Harry, like some fucking movie, interns Pine Lee and Ash Kabosu. And we're like, finally, something to do. <laughs> Um, and so we're there, uh, they, we go and like get food with them and we're just talking with them. We talk for like an hour and a half, maybe. Um, and then Ash goes, I haven't slept in 43 hours. Can I please go to sleep? And I was like, okay. And then finally had to go and record or something. So we were like, okay, cool. And after talking to them. We were just left doing nothing again. Like, we would thank you for the tier two. Uh, that's... Who... No... What did you get? Tier two has nothing on my channel. <laughs> tier three, you get an emote. But, like... Thank you. Hey, no, I'm not... Not that I'm not grateful. I mean, thank you. Uh, thank you so much. Um... And I was like, cool. Uh, let me start texting my friends because me and Harry we're freezing and we have nothing to do in Brian So I text Freddy. I text Freddy. I go Freddy Freddy um, Can I please come to your house? Please please let us in um, And he goes oh mate. I am really sorry because I can't let you in because um Because I'm in Nottingham and I was like oh Bad Lino. Thank you, man Thanks. That's really helpful. Uh, so me and Harry are there freezing fucking cold. And we're like, who can we text? Um, I was like, next person we can text, uh, Marco. Nep. I text Nep. I go, Nep, please can we come to your house? We don't even want anything. We're just really cold and you have heating. And he goes, of course, man. I'll just call Billy. And I was like, okay. <laughs> No one calls him that, but okay. Um, so, so he calls Bill, and he goes, "Yeah, you're welcome to my house." Thank fucking god! Thank fucking god! Finally, we have something to do. So, about this time, it's about three p.m. Um, we get into his house. Uh, well, no. Firstly, we knock at the door. Okay, I knock at his door, and this, like, fucking six foot two, fully tattooed guy goes, Are you here for Billy, mate? And I was like, This is not Marco. And I go, Is this the wrong house? And he goes, No, 
I'm just like the landlord. And I was like, dude, you look like you're gonna beat the fuck out of me. Um, he goes, just walk in and it's that door over there. I was like, perfect. Uh, so I walk in. I'm like, what's what's up, guys? Uh, I sit outside and um, I wait for Marco to open the door. It takes him 10 minutes because he doesn't realize that we're outside. We walk in. I'm telling you. Bilzo lives in, like, some fucking grand hotel suite. Like, this place is fucking crazy. Okay. We walk in. They have this massive living room with a TV the size of a 24-inch monitor that's, like, it's, like, this big compared to the room, which is, like, that big. And we're, like, wow, this is really well-furnished, man. This is a great room. Um, and we're there. We're just talking to them. We're, like, what's up? What's up, Marco? First thing that Marco does, he goes, let me show you something really cool, okay? And he and he goes, go into the kitchen and open the second drawer. Now I don't want to I don't want to wrap my boy Bill out like this. There is a loaf of bread in Bill's house that he hasn't thrown out for three months. Um And I was like, why the fuck would you do that? And he goes, well, because Billy Uber eats everything. It's like, there's no point. I was like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Um, and so we were like, cool, man, cool. Um, and he shows us around the house and he goes, yeah, I don't know when Bill's going to be here because the trains are really messed up. And Bill was supposed to stream at 7 p.m., okay? Me and Harry sit there, talking to Marco. Harry starts talking about his stupid life and, like, what goes on, goes on is his life. You know, we, we start talking a little bit. And then, um, he shows me around the house. I go into Bilzo's room. This place is crazy. I'm serious. The, like, have you ever seen that picture of, like, the, he has a shower in his room? Like, his house is actually insane. Um, and there's like probably 10 grand of clothes on the floor. And I'm like, okay. Um, and we're like, what the fuck? Like, you live like this. And he goes, come into my room. I walk in and I'm just, I'm just in Bill's Twitch account. And I could like genuinely, I was like, okay, I can just do whatever I want. So I started parading around offline chats, like being annoying. <laughs> Uh, so if you were in my offline chat wondering why uh, Bilzo was saying hi, um, it wasn't him, uh, sadly. Um. <laughs> I love you, Bilzo. Um, so obviously he's a little Max G's viewer. And um, I get to snooping around. Uh, you know, can we get some Drake's in chat? I have... Um, I have great integrity for my friends. I didn't even think about going live on this channel. Because I'm really good. Love you, Bilzo. We keep talking. We get KFC. It's whatever. And, um... Tubbo is listening to, his, to your music. Okay. Well, I really appreciate the fact that... I just tabbed into his chatterino, and he's listening to me sing, and... Sorry, sorry. I'm... Maybe I shouldn't be offended by this. Uh... Is this actually Max? Omegalol. Omegalol. Omega. What the fuck is... There's nothing funny about my singing! I put my heart and soul into that song! Fuck you! Um... And finally, 10 minutes to 7, Bill gets into his house and he goes, what's up guys? And he has to make this little tweet where he's like, sorry guys, like I can't stream right now because I just got into my house, whatever, the trains fucked me up. And uh, we start talking, Bill walks over to me and goes, Max, I really want you to cut off all of my, all of my mullet today. And I was like, okay. Um, sure. 
Obviously, can we get some Drake to chat? I fucking gain from that. There is nothing for me to lose by cutting a popular streamer's hair and getting more likes on Twitter, you know? So I'm like, of course, Bill. And then he goes, and Harry, you can be my little, uh, you can be my little, uh, my little devil. Uh, because obviously Harry's the bad guy. Uh, he, he's the one who's hated by Twitter. Um, so I was like, okay, uh, Harry can be like the little devil and, uh, I'll cut off your hair. It's fine. And he goes, cool. Uh, you have to look like a criminal, by the way. And he hands me a £3,000 coat. And I'm like, I genuinely, I can't wear this. Like, I firstly, firstly, I don't want to judge Bilzo's clothing. Uh, firstly, it's an ugly coat. Uh, secondly, it's £3,000. I'm like, I'm not wearing that. Uh, sorry, I thought I had a laugh track on, but it's the clip of me falling over. Um, so yeah, he has this three thousand pound coat, and I was like, cool, cool, cool. Um, and uh, he goes, yeah, look at these scissors. You just have to come onto my stream, and uh, and like cut my hair at some point. And I was like, fine, that's fine. Uh, we sit around, and he goes, oh, by the way, um, there might be some insulin needles on the floor, so watch your feet. We were like, okay. Uh, I think Harry's gonna contract some illness because he grabbed something off Bill's desk and a fucking insulin needle like poked him. And we were like, oh, uh, okay. Um, that's cool. And like Harry had to be like, you don't have like a like a like an STD or something that I'm I'm gonna die from, do you? And he goes, no. No, no, I don't. It's fine. Um, and we're there chatting away. Um, guys, why in chat, if you think you were a popular Twitch streamer, your house would still be organized a little bit. Like, you wouldn't have boxes of, like, like dirty shit everywhere. Like, I'm not... Like, dude, this guy Bilzo had... And I'm not even, like, I, I can't make... I can't lie to you. Eight boxes of pizza stacked on top of each other in his hallway. And I was like, okay. Uh, that's normal. Like, that's, that's normal. Um, and he goes, uh, yeah, man, we're just going to go live and uh, you can cut my hair when you want. Now, when Bilzo gets into character, it's, uh, it's definitely, he doesn't know, like, how to not make everything a joke. And he looked over at me in the middle of the stream and he goes, can you cut my hair? Like, he, he was like... And I looked at him, and I was like, keep going with your bit then. And he turned around, looked at Harry, and, like, cried of laughter. And I was like, what the fuck are you doing? How am I meant to do anything? So I waited for him to start playing that fucking guitar. And obviously, I'm sure you've seen that clip where I walked into the stream, and I, like, grabbed his head and, like, chopped his hair off. We were like, cool. That's, that's, that's done. That's cool. That's cool. Um... The big problem with that was, I forgot to charge my phone at Bill's house. Well, that, that will come into play later. Um, yeah. Because I forgot to charge my phone, I was like, shit. Damn, what the fuck? Um... But it was like, we were like, fine. We were like, let's just go to this James Marriott gig, you know? We go there. Streets closed off. We're like, okay, what the fuck? We make it in there. First person that I saw, I like, okay. I'm sure you guys have realized that I'm just like a normal guy. And sometimes I forget uh, in like the least like a uh, trying to be humble way that people know who I am. And I walked in to put my bag into the cloakroom uh, and someone with a trans flag wrapped around their body came up to me and went, hi. And I got like really nervous because I was like, I like was out of it the whole time. And I was like, uh, hi. Uh, 
and I, like, I've never liked that. And I grab my bag, and I, like, run away. I was like, what the fuck? Uh, that's weird. And then, um, and then I had a realization moment that they were probably someone who just wanted to say hi to me, and I felt really bad. Um. I walk in, and, uh, genuinely, James Marriott gigs are, like, the only place where my ego is like through the roof. I walk into there, someone turns around, uh, because I like, uh, I would like was asking to pass, go past them. They looked at me and they went. And I was like, yeah. And they, and then their friend turns around and they go, who the fuck is this guy? And I was like, dude, no, that's fucking real. That's so real. Um, I was like, yeah, that's right. Who the fuck is this guy? Um, I start bumping through more people. Someone had, someone like starts recording me. I'm like, this has never happened to me before. Uh, so I picked up their phone and like recorded off their phone and stuff. And, um, but then in the middle of the, in the middle of me getting ready to watch the James gig, I was like, oh my fucking God. I didn't realize the time. It was like 10 p.m. And I hadn't booked a train home. And I was like, oh, that's not good. So I go open my phone and I, uh, I book the next train that I could. And I had to leave half three, halfway through the gig. Um, I got to see all my friends as well. Like, it was really fun. Uh, I saw Arya and Rue and Ash and finally fucking everyone. And then I was like, guys, I really have to go. I'm sorry. Uh, and they were like, see you, man. I leave and I walk all the way past like the blocks road and I call myself like an Uber because I was like, I can't catch this train if I don't do this. Uh, because normally I would have just walked. Call myself an Uber. The guy doesn't know how to turn. Is He doesn't know how to do a U-turn. Okay. So instead of just doing a U-turn and driving me through the center of Brighton, he does he goes like this around Brighton back into the station. I was like, I'm never making this fucking train. I get to the station, I fucking sprint in, I scan my fucking ticket, I run onto the train, I'm like, oh my god, finally. My train says it will take me 57 minutes to get into central London. Can we get some drakes in chat? I'm fucking saved. I'm gonna make it home just fine. I'm alive and well. That's fairly fast. No, that's like the Gawick Express always takes one hour. Okay. And I'm there and I realize that my phone is about 15%. And I'm like, that's bad, but that's not so bad. That's not so bad because I can just not use it, right? I can entertain myself. I've got a mind of my own. So I put it down. And I wait like an hour. And I'm not even in London yet. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? This is really bad. Um, turns out my train had been like hard, like delayed or some shit or they added some stops. I was still 30 minutes away from London. And I don't know if you guys know how the tubes work, but they close. The tubes close after a certain time. Because because you can't just have a 24-hour tube. And I was like, shit. I made it into London at quarter past midnight. And I left the James Merritt gig at 10 p.m. Okay? I was like... Shit, like, I really need to leave. I check my phone. 6%. And I was like, okay, this is okay. This is fine. It's fine. Because all I had to do was get to one part of London. And then obviously... Uh, I mean, I can give you this one for free, people who want to dox me. I don't live in central London, okay? I don't live in I don't live in Oxford Street. So, obviously, I need to take a little bit of a tube outside. 
um, because no one lives in the fucking centre of London. So I'm going towards my side of London on the tube. And the last train was at, like, half past midnight. And I was like, okay, I can make this. I made it to the station. 12.31. I was like, fuck. Like, I'm actually fucked. What the fuck do I do? So I was like, the only thing I can do is get on a train that goes kind of near where I live. That, like, stops early. And I was like, I'll do that. I'll do that, you know? Drake and chat, I'm gonna live. Um, I get on this train. Phone, 4%. And, 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 and I make it all the way to the station and I get off and, um, you know, phone at 4%. I'm like, okay, this is fine. It's fine because all I have to do now is book an Uber. Can we get some drinks and chat? Because I got off a little bit early from the main stop that I was trying to get off at because I was really trying to cut it on time to make sure that I could get home safe. Okay. I book my Uber. It goes from eight minutes till three minutes. You know, I wait the five minutes and he goes, uh, you cannot order an Uber at this current time. And I was in a fucking random, like, uh, parking, what the fuck do they call them? Not parking lot, whatever the fuck they're called, of a random station in the middle of fucking nowhere. Okay, car park. Yeah, sorry. I, didn't, I, couldn't, I don't know why I couldn't remember it. I was in the middle of fucking nowhere. Like, genuinely, usually train stations, chat, you know, you guys can agree, they're in places like near shopping centres, near fucking other tube stations, near, near civilization, near anything. I'm in the middle of a car park. It is quarter past one. And my phone is 3% and my Uber just got cancelled. I'm like, what the fuck do I do? And so, I go one more time. Uh, I book another Uber. He goes, I'll be there in four minutes. Let's fucking go. I'm going to live, baby. I'm going to survive and this is going to be perfect. This is going to be the perfect way to finish my day. Uh, a guy with a massive brief, a massive suitcase comes past me. And I'm like, this is where I get fucking stabbed and killed and put into a suitcase. Thankfully, he walks away. You know, so I'm okay. I wait for my Uber. It says it's two minutes away. It cancels on me. And then it gives me the big Uber pop up and it says, Uber cannot find drivers in this area that will accept your trip. Now my phone's 2% and it's 20 past 1. And I have no way of getting home. I'm like, I'm like far from home. I'm like no Spider-Man. I'm like 30 minutes away from my house. Hello, Eloise. I hope you had a great stream. Uh, I hope you're having a Merry Christmas. Uh, I'm getting into the, the real, the real thick of my, uh, of the way that I almost died. My phone, my phone's 2%, and I never chat. Something that you have to know about me, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm very confident in my own ability. I never, ever feel, uh, luckily, unsafe. Like, I, I never feel like I don't have a grasp of my situation. This is the first time ever that I felt like I had no play in how my night was going to end, you know? Like, I had no, I had no idea how it was going to end. So in like a frantic, like last moment thing, I text my mum and I go, mum, I'm in this car park at exactly at this point. Please wake up dad and get him to pick me up. Now my dad, my dad is, 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 a, is, is Italian. He is strict and he definitely 
does not fucking like the fact that I am in a random car park at half past one in the morning. Okay. And I do a final text. I don't even know if my parents have seen it. I text my dad. In case you didn't hear from mum, please come to this location. And my phone dies. Okay. My phone fucking dies. And I'm like, shit. Like, genuinely, I don't even know if my parents are coming to pick me up. I look into my bag for things that I can do. And I find a fucking phone charger. I had a phone charger on me the whole time. And I was like, okay. But I, but, but no, 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 because this isn't a funny thing. Because you can't, there's nowhere to charge a phone. Like this is, no, no, because this is not where the story ends. There's nowhere to charge a phone in a random car park in a station that's closed because it's almost two in the morning. Okay. I didn't realize that I had a charger on me. My phone's dead. And all I can do is sing along to my favorite songs in my head and plan ways that if my parents weren't to come, come and pick me up, I could survive. I thought, firstly, now, can I get some five heads in chat? I looked around for houses around where I was that had their lights on. So I knew that if in this amount of time my parents didn't come and pick me up, I could ring on their doorbell and ask to charge my phone in their house. Because, I don't know if you guys know that statistic, but like the chances of someone like being a murderer that you go to them is like incredibly low. And I'm not saying that you should use that in your daily life, but it is, okay? It's like incredibly low, and I'm like, perfect. I could do that. And I'm like praying that my dad comes and picks me up, because I don't know what's going on. I wait. I, I lived like a 15 minute drive away from this station. I waited 10 minutes. He wasn't there. I waited 15 minutes. He wasn't there. 20 minutes and he wasn't there. And I was really trying to keep my anxiety in. I was really like trying to be like, oh my God, it's all going to be okay. You know, I because if I break down on the side of a main road... That's like, that's, this is, this is it, you know? I'm, I'm not surviving the day. And I'm like, shit, like, what the fuck do I do? You could have just walked? No, man, the walk was like four hours. And I didn't have Google Maps. So I would have just like, because it was one of those walks that like, it didn't have like a direct path. It was like, you can walk on the motorway and get hit by a car. Or you take the scenic route and it takes you 16 years. And, like, actually, like a little action movie, I start sitting on the side of the road, like, swinging my feet, watching cars go past, hoping it was my dad. And I was like, this one's not my dad. This one, and because, because maybe three cars had passed me in the last hour, you know? I was there, like, kicking my feet, and I was like, is this really how it ends for me? Like, Twitter won't even know that I'm not even a bad guy. <laughs> like, my viewers will never have a last stream. My last stream would have been on Bilzo's channel. And I'm there. And, uh, and it's been like... I've... At this point, I've sung, um... A Kendrick Lamar song in my head. Two Tyler Creator songs. And, um... And a Claro song. So it's been, like, about 25 minutes, okay? <laughs> um, and I'm like, like, I'm getting worried now. A car passes me. It's an SUV. I can see the dad in the middle of the car. And he looks at me and he goes, like, I'm a fucking... Like a, like I'm a, like I'm a, a, a rat on the middle of the street. Like, th these are the kind of people that are driving past me. That really demoralized me. I was like, okay, whatever. Uh, that's all I am is a little rat on the side of the road. And then, 
And then my dad pulls up. And I'm like, oh my god, my dad's here. Let's fucking go. I open the door, and I was like, I'd already planned this in my head, like movie-esque, where I'd open the door and I'd walk in, and I'd just give him a hug. I walked in to the, to the thing, I put my bag down, bang! I slam my head on the fucking roof of the door. And I was like, and I walked into the car and I like just gave him a hug. And I was like, I'm so sorry that you're awake. And he goes, he goes in Italian for all you Italian people, come cazzo ti successo, which means how the fuck did this happen to you? And I was like, so my train got cancelled and then three Ubers cancelled on me and then my phone died and then I caught the last train but it wasn't the train to where we were meant to be. And this and that and this. And he goes, I can't even be angry. <laughs> and I was like, thank you. And um, I was like, dude, just like, just like, let's go home. And genuinely, like, chat. Because you guys might have thought that this, this story time, like, the title would have been extreme. But you can't lie. Not knowing that you were going to, like, have someone to, like, that was bad. Okay, why is, like, half of Tubbo's artist team in my chat? Yo, man. What was with the synchronization? Am I getting a Tubbo host? Is it time? It's been a year that I've known him, and every time he ends stream, he raids fucking Bakumon instead of me. Hey guys. And I made it home. And I was like, yes! And I fell asleep for 14 hours, baby! Max G survives another day! I know, I know, I know. <laughs> I fucking know, man. Um, yeah, but if it wasn't for Bill, I wouldn't have been on my phone waiting for him, which means I could have just, like, used my phone and survived. You know? Um, yeah, but I, I hope you enjoyed my story. That was my trauma that I was sharing with you. And uh, you guys owe mega lol. Oh my god! The part that I missed on the train, by the way, chat, I completely forgot this part. Dude, clearly some other people had left the James gig a little bit early to catch the train with me. And I couldn't do anything because I was trying to conserve the battery on my phone. And three, three people, like six rows down from me on the train, in a carriage that's completely empty, go... No, because I really like James, but I'm fucking tired of these Minecraft stands going to his gigs. Like, if you don't want to, if you don't want to sing, then don't go to the front of the fucking queue. And I was sitting there, I was like, mmm, I'm into this drama. They're like, yeah. I just wish it was the E-Boys fans again. And I was like, there's a chance that they know who I am. And, uh, on the... Gatwick Express, when you get to your stop, you have to press the button to get off. And I'd completely forgotten. And it was only us three on the carriage. And when we got to London, Victoria, I put my bag on and I had my, my AirPods in uh, because I didn't want to talk to anyone. And they pressed the button for me because I, I forgot. I turned around and I went, thank you. And they went, and, and then I had the most embarrassing thing. Because I had to catch the last train. So I start fucking bolting it through Victoria Station. Like they were, like I was scared of them. Like I was scared that they were going to say something to me. Like I genuinely, like I, I like fucking sprinted to the fucking gate. And I was like, okay, I need to go. Um, and they just gave me like a funny look. And I was like, okay. So if that was you, love to you. Oh, also, chat, I do have bad news for the Max G's viewers. Uh, I won't be live tomorrow. I thought I was going to be, but I thought, uh, 
maybe um maybe i should like uh maybe i should spend time with my family uh, also, by the way, um, it wasn't also because all of my staff team were like, yeah, so if you want to stream on the 24th, like, ban you, man. Like, I'm not even modding. Like, fuck off. So I was like, okay. Um, but now my parents were like, yeah, let's go and see the lights in the center of London. So I was like, okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, so I won't be live tomorrow. Uh, but I might be live today on my alt later, maybe? Um, but I will be live on Christmas Day, so it's fine. That's still happening. And Katie Bugs gets here in three days. Oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god. Um So guys, how angry do you think Katie Bugs would be if I woke her up from her nap because of jet lag to stream with me eight hours after she got to my house? Do you think she'll be mad? Or will she just allow it? Annoyed, probably. Yeah. Because I was just thinking about it, you know? I hope she doesn't kill me. I hope I don't die. Do it anyways. I'm going to do it for you guys. Love you. New story time, yeah. Guys, did you like today's story time? I thought it was pretty good. I thought it was um, kind of wild that uh, all of that happened. I also, uh... Fuck it, I think this is funny, so I'll share it with you. Uh, when we were at Fig's house, everyone else was really drunk, and Scott goes... Guys, let's do the rice purity test. And I was like, okay. And I did mine. Um, and I got a number that I'm not going to tell you. Um, but I can tell you John A's. Uh, because John A... <laughs> John A got... He's not in chat, is he? John A got 96. <laughs> Um, uh, yeah, uh, which is crazy, uh, it's crazy. He got, he got, um, have you ever been drunk? Have you ever played a drinking game? Have you ever played, have you ever faked sobriety? And have you ever pissed in public? Those are John A's four. Um... Which is crazy! It's crazy! That's crazy! Uh, you know... What did I join to? John A's rice score. Um, uh, yeah, but you know... Love to those guys. Love you. Not even held- Hey! Be nice to John A. John A's just waiting for the right person. Johnny on the sixth day, and he's like... Um... I think it's time that we hold hands. <laughs> I understand that you I understand that you like my video script <laughs> I can't do that um, So I think it's time that we uh, We bring this a little further <laughs> No, but love to John A And uh, love to everyone else And uh, I've had a great week I also went on Smidge's stream yesterday That was fun if you guys were there, we decorated a Christmas tree. Chad, has anything happened the last few days that I need to catch up on? Uh, because, like, I haven't really been on the internet the last few days. It was a very cool stream. Thank you. You joined Misfits? Oh my god! 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 Dude, I was on the fucking Bill stream 
and I'm pretty sure I broke his Misfits contract. And it was just like I was autopiloting jokes that I could make because I was trying to fill the time. Uh, so sorry about that. Guys, can I get some drakes in chat about um, the fact that uh, I kept my anxiety in the whole time and I genuinely, like, could have been left for dead that day. Like, you know. Anyways, boss, you type that. I'm going to go get some water. I'll be right back. I also added Scott Dance. So if you want to use that, it's Scott Post Dance. week and then so this is what's going on in the max g's life in the next few days tomorrow i won't be live 26th the 25th i should be doing that stream that's like um what's it called that's like a, a christmas dinner with max g's i might do that uh the 26th katie's here we're streaming the 27th i'm streaming early and then watching hamilton the 28th i'm going to john a's house the 29th i'm streaming with katie and the 30th and 31st i'll have off so if you're a if you're a little Max G's enjoyer, that's the final Max G's plans. Uh, so get those down on your calendar. I won't be live the 24th, the 28th, the 30th, the 30th, and the 31st. The drought is over. Yeah, we're back to being normal. And uh, I should be live on New Year's Day as well, by the way. Which will be cool. How long is Katie staying? Uh, five days. But we're only streaming three of them. Yeah, that's right, isn't it? I think. Maybe we're streaming four of them. I don't know. Oh, wait, no. Katie's staying with me for five days. No, no, that was right. That was right. That was right. Thank you to the gifted... Thank, thank you for the gifted sub to God. Thank you, man. Um... Oh, wait. He's a Twitch star. What a fucking freak. You know? <laughs> God is a Max G's enjoyer. Dude, I'll, sh I'll say it. Shout out God. Whatever God you believe in, shout out. I don't believe, but if you believe, that's good on you, man. What, who else wants a shout out? What else What, what else should I shout out? These, these ones are for you, chatters. So, Merry Christmas. And if you believe in multiple gods as well. Yeah. Of course. Me? No, I was looking more for things. Can you shout out my friend Adrena Pog? Shout out to you, Adrena Pog. Shout out to Gibby from iCarly. Dude, shout out to Gibby. Holy shit. He's like really quabby coded if you deep it. Like, um, 
Are you deeping that? Because he is. Thank you for the gift sub. Shout out to Bilzo's hair. Yeah. Oh, guys. I hope you have a great holiday. Okay. Okay, I'm troops. YouTube, Max Gs, thank you. Shout out M, M Shrooms for the video script. Chat, out of the nine, nine pages, which one would you like me to read? First answer, I will read. Four. Oh, these are the wrong way, I think. But uh, I'm just going to read one of them. I spent 15 of my own pounds on a boat ticket. And we don't even go on the plane. Oh, the plane? That's just... That's just not a plane. I'm a fucking idiot. I spent 15 of my own pounds on a boat ticket, and we didn't even go. That was 15 of my hard-earned pounds. Gone to waste. Bad Linu paid for that. He's a fucking liar. And then we spent an hour and a half trying to find bikes. An hour and a half! I remember that part, because he, he recorded a call with me. And by that time, my stream came around. It was the last of them all. And it went perfect. John A. We're chilling. Freddy. No, we're not chilling. Stream crashes. Freddy, secret tubbo. Stream crashes. John A, no clue what he says here. Sorry, from M Shrooms. Stream crashes. Now, the fact that I couldn't, I couldn't really stream annoyed both me and everyone else. So me and Freddy had a little trick up our sleeves. That trick being me and Max G's queer baiting. Uh, I, I head count on the last part. It's true, yeah. Oh, by the way, I don't want to let you know that. I thought I'd let you know. On the 28th, uh, as much as I'm not streaming, you're not getting starved of Max G's content, by the way. Because um, I think everyone that's going to Johnny's house, we're doing... Now, this idea was not stolen from a YouTube group, which is uh, Monk W now because of a certain person. Uh, you laugh, you leave the room. Um, uh, if anyone knows the video that I'm talking about. Uh, we completely ripped it from them. Uh, but yeah, we're going to be doing that. So uh, some people will be there. It'll be cool. I don't know the video. Dude, if you don't know it, don't worry. Who else will be there? Should I just leak it? Or should I let John A leak it? Am I- No, I'm a bad guy if I leak it, you know? I'm a bad, bad guy. Leak? Okay. It's- Should be Harry, me, John A, Katie Bugs, um, Scott, and Bill? I think? And maybe Fig. So if you're if you're a fan of Cricket Crew or the Origins SMP or the Maxi G's friend group or Katie Bugs, not that she's not in my friend group, but it's almost the Come to It reunion. So if if you're an old Maxi G's fan and you're one of those people who's been deprived of that content for 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 months and months and months, uh, it's basically back apart from pre -law. Bad Linu won't be there, no. I think Bad Linu's busy. Did Come To It ever trend? Yeah, so Come To It Selfie Day trended on the first month. And um, people tweeted and they were like, I looked up Come To It Selfie Day because I thought it was going to be something funny. One of these disgusting teenage freaks calling their sub to it that. Fucking awful and disgusting human beings. And I was like, okay. Like, uh, like okay. <laughs> Guys, for Christmas, did you get me a sub? I 
like a few minutes ago. Thank you. Reebok, thank you for the 21. For Christmas, I got you a real job. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Guys, I was really heartbroken today. Um, because this isn't funny anyways. I found out that the gift that John A got me for, 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 for my birthday, those vapes, he didn't, he didn't go into a, he didn't go into a shop and buy them. He wanted anonymity, so he bought them on Amazon. I thought he, I thought he went to, into a shop and, and asked for them and he, he didn't even do that. He didn't even put the effort in. Not even funny. He hates you. He does. I forgot. I forgot to get Toby his birthday present. Oh, oh my God. No. Dude, because it didn't matter, but I was going to get him that screenshot from TikTok of him going, I've just lost my virginity in that bathtub, and I was going to get it for him on a mug. But, oh, I forgot, man. Shit. He called you the most entertaining streamer. Wait, is that real? Did he say that? No, you guys are actually fucking rats, okay? I'll say it. I'll fucking say it. Dude, you guys are disgusting. No, okay, disgusting is rude. Well, what the fuck is wrong with you? 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 Max G's forgot to give you a present. Max G's forgot your present. It's been three seconds. Get out of his chat. No, that's actually well bad as well because for my birthday he gave, he gave me a hundred subs. <laughs> you guys are snitches. Guys, for his birthday I got him friendship. Bye, Lily. Thank you for the two months. Gift him a sub to Stone Bar. No. Um. Oh, what the? F no, dude. I'm trying to find this Stone Bar clip, but I'm never gonna be able to find it. There used to be an account on Twitch called, um, uh, what the fuck was it called? Tubbo is a gay nerd. And I wanted to do a bit where I gifted him a sub, because they gifted him a sub to, um, to Stone Pass channel once. And I found out that the channel got, uh, like, deleted. Like, they deleted it. Like, isn't that really sad? Can't find it. Give him a hug. I'm not farming you TikTok videos. Okay. This, this, I found it. I found it. I found the clip. Oh my god. No, because you can't say that I don't put in the effort to give you content. Prezzo gifted a sub to Tubbo is gay and has no life. Oh, sorry. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> sorry, I forgot the name. <laughs> uh, uh, excuse me, I didn't. I thought it was something else. Uh, thank you for the gifted sub to uh, Tubbo is uh, gay and has no life. I wish you were still here with us.
It's really sad, honestly. Wait, did someone say that Tubbo was watching Silly Mus on stream? I have something to check. I have something to check. I have something to check. I actually have something to check. I wonder if he's subscribed to me on YouTube. No, that is... Hmm. Tubbo? Let's see if, uh... He did. Are his subscriptions public? Well, obviously, he had to skim over it to see it. How long ago was it? Uh, this is when I went live, I think. When, when, when is he, when is he, when is he silly missing? Oh wait, is he just like listening to it like this? Hold on. <laughs> wait, that means, um... If I skip to like this part of the vault, it will be Stone Farm moaning. No, that's me and Johnny. Uh. After me. Quabby, that's Quabby. Hold on. Good to cry. I need. No, we need to find the part of the vault where he reacts to the intro to the Stone Farm song. No, it. Wait, sorry, I'm gonna turn it up for you. Stone Pie singing last Christmas! <laughs> what am I listening? <laughs> oh, love you, Stone Pie. Love you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the. Thank you so much for the giggles, Stone Pie. He did not like that at all. Prezzo love, dude. Shout out to Prezzo. He didn't know who Katie was. Yeah, cause he's he's fucking stupid. Sorry, I didn't mean that. It's his birthday. Happy birthday, Tubbo. What would you do if stream started streaming? I'd drop everything and start watching, man. I would just keep streaming. She was in the last Tubnet event. Oh my god. She's not rated. Katie Bugs will be here in three days! Oh my god! Wait, this is huge. Wait, this is actually big. Like, you don't even understand. Christmas! Just a week away! It's Christmas! I've got you a song. Oh! It's Jack Manifold. I know. Jack Manifold, hello! Beginning to look oh. a lot like Christmas. He's so soothing and awesome. Everywhere you go, take a look at the five and ten. It's glistening once again with candy canes and silver lanes. The dude. Sometimes I gain like really small bursts of loads of followers at once, and I'm like, let's fucking go. Tubbo's about to host me, and then I open his chat arena, and they go, and I see, and I go, I see. Tubbo, are you gay? And then I'm like, okay, so he's going strong. Like the <laughs> It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Look at the, I'm not getting that fucking host. Toys in every store. Thank so you for the gift of sub to Morgan. To Thank you. Is the holly that will be on your own front door. A 
Yo. Oh, I feel so silly being live off my own account. I hope you liked uh, when I was live off uh, Bill's account. I think, I think, and I don't want to be the one who says it myself, but I think when I when I got to take over his channel, it was the best part of the stream. I talk and we'll go for a walk is the hope of Janice and Jen. And mom and dad can hardly wait for school to Wait, Sillymus is a day is is two weeks old today. Already aware. Guys, 2023 is next week. <laughs> like christmas everywhere you go there's a tree in the grand hotel what is it actually well it's in eight days but you know the sturdy kind that doesn't mind the eight snow. days in a bit it's beginning to look a lot like christmas soon the bells will start and the thing that will make him ring is the Oh my god, what the fuck did I find out that was it happened on it happened in 2019. Something really big happened in January oh, 2019. Like on the internet. Right within your heart. Uh, a lot of things happen in Wait, was it? It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Toys in every store. No. Because I realized, chat, um, that. The prettiest sight. Like, things that happened in 2019 happened the same year that COVID started. And, like,. Do you look up some of the things that happened in 2019? It's like great. Wait, was it? Is the holly that will be on your own front door. I can't remember. But one of the like it's crazy. COVID started in 2019. Christmas. Yeah, yeah, it did. In October. I think the first case was in October. I don't, I I don't really know. The slap from Will Smith. That was that was that was this year, right? No, it was this year. A hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was in it was in March. Oh my god, aware. It was the same month that I went on the Summer Summerthon nine months ago. You went on the Tower Subathon? Nah, -uh, did I not just go on it? I was the best fucking part. I was the, I was the Tubbo. I did the Tubbo Subathon. Okay. Last Christmas, I gave you my heart, but the very next day, you gave it away. This year, to save me from tears, I'll give, give it, it to someone special. I actually discovered you through that. Guys, you remember what, how you found out who I was? I'm expecting a lot from Tubbo and shit, but... To save me from tears, I'll give it to someone special. An Amesy raid? Bad Linu Amesy. Twitch recommended, a raid. Browsing just chatting. Through James? That's fucking crazy. Don't you think that's crazy? That we've we I've known James for long enough that people know me from him. My distance, but you still catch my eye. Tell me, baby, do you recognize me? Well, 
It's been a year, it doesn't surprise me. I wrapped it, wrapped it up and sent it from John A. With the note saying, I love you, I miss That's crazy. You. That is crazy. You are a rare breed of person. You know those videos that are like, how rare are you? And it's like, if you have, um, if you have green eyes, you're 0.1% of the population. You are like, I think you're a group of six people in this whole world that share the same trait that you do. Kiss me now. I know you fool me again. Last Christmas, I gave you my heart. But the very next day. I know you from Bilzo two days ago. Yo. Oh, let's let's cut the shit. Let's get to the good part. This year, to save me from tears, I'll give it to someone special. Last Christmas, I gave you my heart, but the very next day, you gave it away. It was from 30 Days of John A. 30 Days of John A was a year ago. Ugh. To save me from tears, I'll give it to someone special. Face on a lover with the fire in his heart. A man. Do you have a YouTube channel? Yeah, I do. YouTube.com slash MaxUGs. Boom. Yeah. Cover, but you tore him apart. Maybe next year. I'll give it to someone. I hate the fact that Stone Bar and Tubbo, like, clearly don't know the Christmas songs. Because he, they just assumed that the lines would just keep going and going. Dude, I forgot that he, he actually eats in that part. Someone special. Love you. Stone Pa, love you. <laughs> Guys, and deep that. And then and then and then after after this month, we'll go back to not listening to Silly Mouse on stream. Frosty. Snowman was a jolly happy soul with a corn cob pipe and a button nose and two eyes made out of coal. Frosty the snowman is a fairy tale. I'm thinking for the new year, I'm gonna change my camera angle. Say he was made of snow, but the children know how he came to life one day. There must have been some magic in that old silk hat they found. I love this one. When they placed it on his head, he began to dance around. I'm joking. I'm Frosty not gonna do that. The snowman ew! Don't say ew! That's my face! Alive as he could be. You guys are the fucking worst! He could laugh and play just the same as there was nothing else on that screen! Thumpity thump thump thumpity thump thump Look at Frosty go. Thumpity thump thump thumpity thump thump over the hills of snow. Frosty the snowman knew the sun was hot. Oh, he's back. He oh, run and we'll have some fun. Hello, yo. I melt away down to the village with the broomstick in his hand. Running here, let's not forget when you when you when you saw Ems's face and screamed. And there Dude, that's crazy. Let them Sorry. The streets of town right Sync to video time. What does this mean? To the oh. traffic cop. He only paused a moment when he heard What does this even mean? Do you support slay rights? You have 7,000 Twitch followers. What the fuck is that? How do you? How do you? You couldn't have just said it like normally. Really? Yeah, man. But, uh... It's not- it's an interesting way to put it. Yo! 
Are you sad? I'm really sad today. I'm really sad. Really, really sad. I've had a really sad day. Um, I don't know why. I've gone a whole day without calling my boyfriend, John A. I miss you, John A. Baba, don't be sad. I will. I will. I won't be. For the new year, I'm gonna start being really nice. No, not this song. That's my New Year's resolution. What the fuck does that shout out to me? You're actually funny? This is surprising. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> what, what does that mean? Why is there an owl on your shirt? Why isn't there an owl on your shirt? Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Mm -hmm. Because they're awesome. Can you bring back when I mean to chat? I'll, I'll end the stream. Your jacket on Bilzo's stream was really cool. Thank you. Three minute stream. No, I can be nice. Like, I have been nice before. You know? Hey! Hey, chatters, hey! Uh, let me, um... Hey, guys! Hey! Oh! Drama? Guys! Fuck it. No, this is a good content bit. What's your New Year's resolution, chatters? Let's hear them from you. No, I'm... I'm actually intrigued. What are you guys, what are you guys doing? Not fail my GCSEs? Okay. Get a job, get a life. Do well in my exams and get a job. I was surprised you were so nice to me when I met you at the James gig. Don't say that! Don't say that like I'm not a nice guy! What the fuck? <laughs> I'm nice to everyone that comes up to me. Because imagine, imagine I'm your absolute favorite streamer. And you come up to me and you go, Hey, can I get a picture? And I fucking spit in your face and I go, You have no fucking right to be asking me for a picture. You fucking freak. And then I ran away. Spat on me and called me poor. About spitting on poor people. Uh, did you see Mr. Beast is um is 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 trying to become the Twitter CEO? Dude, isn't this fucking crazy? Because it would be like Mr. Beast would be like, if you're poor and you don't tweet enough, me and the Mr. Beast crew will come and kill you. Like it's <laughs> like it's not it. Like, you're only allowed to not tweet if you're rich. That's the Mr. Beast tactic. I walked past you during the London IRL stream in June and you scared me so much that I ran away. 
I'm really sorry. The better of two evils, yeah. You're a bit scary, IRL. I'm literally not. I'm like, I'm like a very cheery and happy guy to me, I think. Don't yep me. You can't say yep if you've never met me. One of your mods, unnamed, almost shit themselves before meeting you. <laughs> Milton, I have a question. Have you ever... Have you ever shit yourself out of fright? Has anyone, has anyone ever gone like, ah! And you've been like, shit. You know, that's the only way I can put it. Um, no. <laughs> okay, why are you guys saying no? This is not you, this is not a question to you. Someone thinks it's me. <laughs> Have you? No. I gotta dress up as Santa for some five-year-olds tomorrow. Can I five get subs? Because I know you have a job after saying that. Guys, if you have a job in chat, you have to do your due diligence and gift me a sub uh, every month. And sub. You know. It's just how it works. If I met you, sorry if I scream and run away. No worries. Can we get some Corby shuffles in chat? And uh, I don't want to have the normal Twitch chat on screen. I'm going to pull up Chatterino. Look at all you silly guys. Guys. Would you say that a Max G stream made your holidays? Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Silly must made my holidays. Shout out to you. Stop talking like that. Okay. Never mind that. Max G stream gets everyone in the holiday spirit. Yes. Shout out to you guys. Yes, to see the James Marriott gig. I can't stop thinking of your story. It was not funny. My story was not for your fucking laughter, okay? It was not funny. That was serious. That was a serious story. No. That was- I was in serious pain and doubt and pain. And you guys were just mocking me. Max G's would never trauma dump to chat. No. No, that... Surely he will never glorify trauma dumping into story time, so... Twitch streamers would never do that, so... 
I love supporting small streamers. You can uh, request an unban when you learn what a small streamer is, okay? I've got an ego that I have to fulfill here. Isn't it fucking funny? Silly moose. Oh my god, finally. No, Millie, sometimes I don't realize, like, I don't understand. Like, if you really fucking hate someone in my chat, why don't you just ban them? Like, what's the point in- what's the point in sometimes, like, waiting for the thing? Not that we hated you, by the way. If you want to write an unbanned request and gift me ten subs, I'll let you back. Last time we did, you told us to stop. Yeah, because you should have stopped, but... <laughs> you know, I know I'm being a hypocrite, but it's like a... Make up your mind. Sorry. Spreading Christmas Beginning joy. To look a lot like Christmas. Aww. Everywhere you go. His arm doesn't look real. Take a look at the five and ten. If Is that? Am I the only one who's like? Glistening once again. With candy. Surely his arm doesn't reach that far around. Canes and silver lanes that glow. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Toys in every store. But the prettiest sight to see is the holly that Hi. Yo. on your own Hi. front door. <laughs> A pair of hop-along boots and a pistol that shoots is the wish of Barney and Ben. A doll that'll talk and will go for He a looks like one of those dolls that has stretchy limbs. Be nice! Mom and Dad can hardly wait for school to start again. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Everywhere you go. There's a tree in the Grand Hotel. I reckon John A's really easy to draw. <laughs> Let's be serious now. John A's not easy to draw. Rocking around the Christmas tree. Wait, why does it have reverb? Party hop. Mistletoe hung where you can see every couple tries to stop. Rocking around the Christmas tree, let the Christmas spirit ring. Later we'll have some pumpkin pie and we'll do Guys. some caroling. I need more water. You I'll be right back. Get a sentimental feeling when you Love hear you, Bobby. Hope voices you. singing. Love Let's be jolly. Deck the halls with boughs of holly. Rocking around. The Christmas tree have a happy holiday. Everyone dancing merrily in the new old fashioned way. Damn, this shit goes on forever. Hello, Hello. Hi. when you hear voices singing, let's be Yo. jolly deck the halls with boughs of holly rocking around the Christmas tree. Have a happy guys, holiday. Merry Christmas! You know, Everyone dancing merrily in the new old fashioned way. Look, here's um. Here's, um, here's Hubert. I thought I'd never show him again, but here he is. Still under my monitor when I stream. He's still there. Um, he, that's, he's always there. Oh! 
I love this song apart from it's me singing it. I really can't <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I can't listen to it. We can listen to Stone Part though. Sorry if the end of the stream has just been me listening to my own Christmas album and farming dancing emotes. <laughs> Last Christmas, I, gave you my heart. I realize that's what I'm doing. Like, I'm not even commentating. Another story time? Yeah, let me spur you another story time. Just out of nothing. <laughs> Thank you for the raid. I hope you're good at trim. Once bitten and twice shy. Okay, who else needs this? I keep my distance, but you still catch Jerma bisexual I pin. Tell me, baby, do you know, you look at him. Me? Me. I wrapped it, wrapped it up and sent it with a note saying I love you, I meant it. Now I know what a fool I've been, but if you kiss me now, I know you fool me again. Last Christmas, I need a stone part bisexual pin. Isn't that- wait, wasn't that that bit that Stone Pass bisexual? Wasn't that like the thing when he was on my stream? That they were on about? I might be confusing, but they like- They go- every time that he shows up, he goes- They go, oh, bisexual pride, Stone Pass here. Shout out to Stone Pass. Wait, it was a bit? No. No. What? Someone who looks like this is not bisexual? <laughs> Sorry, um- not, not to, not to assume what a bisexual looks like. <laughs> not to assume what any gay person looks like. But Stonepaw is not gay. Uh, <laughs> you know, his name's Kyle. Kyle Stonepaw. His name's Kyle. Yeah. Shout out to Stonepa. Hello. Wait, why am I getting so many? No fucking way. No fucking way. Again, in this Christmas season, Tubbo has ended stream whilst I'm live and again not hosted me. No fucking way. It's Christmas. You fucker! <laughs> because you didn't give him a present? My bad, okay? I texted him, I was like, happy birthday. Hey guys, yo, if you're from the Tubbo channel, or if you're from my channel, you know, yo to you too. <sighs> now I can just hit here and um, this is like a free viewer farm basically when he ends so Do you like my shirt though like I don't know if I like it like genuinely I know I've said it a few times, but I feel like it's a bit stupid Like it's just a shirt with a branch <laughs> It fucks, thank you. I said it fucks to Smidge yesterday, and they looked at me and went, Ew. 
I didn't get why that's a compliment. <laughs> and I was like, oh, sorry. Comes? <laughs> Millie. <laughs> I want to know what you blocked for that one. Because I'm wondering if you went, it fucks and it comes. I wonder if that was the message that you had to block. Yeah! <laughs> I fucking knew it! Because no one types comes with an S at the end. It's only ever come. Yeah, thank you guys. Thank you for saying that about my shirt. Hope one day you have your own TwitchCon or VidCon panel. Do you think next year I'll get my own meet and greet at TwitchCon? Surely. Surely in Paris they'll give you a meet and greet. You're going to TwitchCon Paris? Yeah, of course. No. No, Topo! No, 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 no. Topo's falling to the corporate ladder. No, fuck. No, 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 no. Uh-uh. No. I can save you. I can... No, 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 no. No, 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 this isn't him. I'm serious. This isn't you, Tubbo. No way, I looked up Tubbo at 17 to see what he looked like when he was my age. No way he was doing these fruity poses and no one was like, yeah, this guy's gay. No way! <laughs> yeah, just take the picture now. <laughs> Seriously? that I was live again and I went oh my god I'm live oh my god guys was this an okay stream after I haven't streamed for three days <laughs> sorry about that by the way I didn't mean to not stream for three days and I won't be live tomorrow as well so if you want to tell me to die on Twitter uh, you can fit right into the wave oh guys just for you for Christmas do you want to go for the two hour mark oh if I must. Two hour mark. Who is this guy? He will never hit the two hour mark. You hold that fort when I hit two. Have you ever been called Tubbo in public? No. But someone did come up to me at TwitchCon. And they went, hey, can I? And then they went, sorry, wrong person. And I was like, okay, they thought I was Tubbo. That kind of sucks. And then they came up to me the next day at TwitchCon and went, no, you were the right person. I wanted to get a picture with you, Max. And I went, oh, okay. Um... So it was fine, they redeemed themselves, but I did think that, uh... Bing. 
Guys, in what ways can I spread Christmas cheer? You know, what can I do? Ending stream? Okay. <laughs> I could have done that. But I want to get to the two hour mark. I remember when I met you in pre law and I was scared that you were Tubbo. Uh, that you thought I. Uh, yeah, whatever. I fucking read the chat message. You're that person who came up to me and you went, oh my god, I thought you'd be taller in real life. Dude, just. Fucking tell me to die in person. Like, it's okay. <laughs> it was awesome meeting you, though. It was cool. I remember it. Because pre-law got recognized for the first time in the UK. And you went, this is so weird. How tall are you? 6'1". Nightbot, no! No! Potter said, no! Wake up, Nightbot! I met Harry again, he re signed Jack Whitehall. Shout out. You look five foot six, I'm, I'm five eleven. I am. I know. You said you were 5'8 two weeks ago? I've grown! Small streamer guy sent an unbanned request. Chat, do you want to see it? I bet you're like 5'5. Five five. You've literally met me! You know I'm 5'8. Five five. Stop fucking lying to the masses! Oh, we got two unbanned requests. Okay. You guys have content. Um, um, hello. Uh... Okay, this has two, two mod comments. Which means that, um, they really didn't like this person. Oh? What's this about? They said, Hi, guys, I apologize. It isn't my, it's not my intention to hurt Max's ego. I was just being a bit silly. I will never make fun of my favorite streamer again. No... Please unban me. It was really my first stream. Okay, what's their what's their notes? Responded to Max talking about I eat toes for a living message. Being unnecessarily rude. I don't have a fucking clue what they're talking about. <laughs> um uh, What do they say in my chat? First time joining the stream, that's why here. You're so fake. Your friendship is the worst gift ever. I found you by googling gay losers. LOL. This song is so bad. Please change as a person. Yeah. Um... I love supporting Sorcery. I didn't mean you. I meant people who won't. What? Who won't Twitch Prime or sub right now? Wait, am I dumb or do these two things have no relation? Ooh, that's not good. That's like one every 20 chat messages if you get timed out. That's, that's bad.
they've been here for four days. Wait, I've only streamed two of the days that they've been following me. And they have 12. <laughs> Fuck off, man. Fuck off. Also, um, I'd like to, I'm not trying to defend my ego here, but I have 500 viewers. I'm not, I'm not a small streamer anymore. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry if I'm bursting your bubble if you think that, but I'm like small streamers, like people who are like average, like less than like 40 viewers, I think. Maybe like 50. Like you're no longer, no longer really small. What the fuck does <laughs> I'm just fucking bad at dude. First thing they were weird, and then why are you three line spamming the word COVID? Oh my god. Oh my god, it's real. Oh my god, COVID. Guys, watch this. Look at this. I'm gonna find it and it's gonna be awesome. Smidge got me a pair of socks for Christmas. I know. Um, do you guys think I should be wearing this jumper that Smidge got me? It's like, it's the same color as, do you remember the one that I had to give back to my ex, which was like the Wilbur Soot jumper? But it has, it has a patriotic American cat on it. Like, do you know what I'm saying? Like, Is it really, uh... <laughs> Wait, it fucks. Thank you. I'm putting on these silly little socks. I'm gonna give you a try on. How do you get these things out of here? Wait, actually, how? Chat, you know these? How the fuck are you gonna be able to see that? You know those things that like clip two things together? How do you get them out of things? I don't know how to. I did it! Ah! No, because I am the goat. Like you can't even, it, you can't even dispute that. Watch this. Watch these silly little socks I'm about to show you. Guys, did any of you also have that, like, um... That, like, revolution moment when you found out that you don't have to... Sl like, you can roll up socks to put them on? Because I remember that day so clearly. When I found out that you could just roll long socks to put them on, and it wasn't like you had to, like, sneak your way into the sock... What are you talking about? Okay, I'm sorry that I'm about to show you my foot, I think. It's no fun that way. Uh, no, I don't have to show you. You don't chat, like when you go like this, to like put on a sock, and then like you, you don't. Emshrooms, you're not question marking that. You're not. No fucking way. No way. That's the normal way to put on socks. No fucking way. Anyways, 
Can we get some Drakes in chat for my silly new sock? Yippee! It's blue. Thank you, Smidge, for the present. You know? Thank you. Absolutely. No fucking way! No fucking way that one. No fucking way. No, 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 uh, no, uh, no, uh, uh, uh. No way, no way, no way you don't roll up your sock to put it on. No fucking way. No, because I'm not taking this fucking answer. No, I'm sure. How to put on a sock? Then put your toes in. What? Wait, so you guys are trying to tell me that instead of instead of rolling it up, you do one slight roll and then just go like that into the sock? And pull the sock over. What if you fucking miss? You don't roll it up. Sorry, sorry. I'm This is crazy. Uh can I just give me a moment. Ew! No! Ew! No, this is- no! 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 Who puts on socks like this? This is wrong! Normal people, you guys are fucking deluded, okay? I'm sorry. Rolling them is easier. Yeah, the only time that I ever do the second method is like, you know when you're putting on those, uh, those gay little socks that like show your ankle? Like they're so short. That's the only time, because the same thing as putting on a fucking slip-on shoe. Like... But apart from that, any, any type of sock that goes past my ankle, I fucking roll up. No, no way, no way, no way, no way, no way. This is not a... I can't believe you. I can't believe you. I can't... This is fucking... Do you know how crazy this is? Do you roll your sleeves too before putting your fucking arms in? Are you stupid? My fucking t-shirts aren't enclosed, okay? So I don't have to wiggle my way through a fucking t-shirt. But if, it, if the sock was a bracelet for my leg, I wouldn't have to fucking roll it, would I? You imbecile! Two hour mark, baby! <sighs> Guys, I'm really sorry for what I said. And I'm sorry that I lost my temper. And I just wanted to say that I, I really appreciate you all. And I hope you're having a great holiday. <laughs> he called me an imbecile. <laughs> Guys, we need to start referring to things as travesties, okay? Something bad happens. This was such a travesty that happened to me, okay? This is our new thing. Because me and Scott Post have been trying to push that word in our friend group. I love doing that, thank you.
do I spell that? I think like that, right? Mods? Mods? Why did I ask you? Chat? <laughs> Thanks, mods. The screen is blurry. You need to clean your fucking screen then, man. Sorry. Sorry. What if I made my camera really blurry all the time? Ugh. Ugh. I can't out of focus it because I have an auto focus for you guys. You know, the people. Guys, should we be giving today and um, help, help someone for Christmas? Do you think? Should we be kind and nice? That means today, um, I'm going to raid John A. I was going to raid him anyways. Whether you said yes or no. Don't say no. Guys. Uh, I won't be live tomorrow. But if you're a little fan of the MaxuG's 2 channel on Twitch. You might receive an alt stream tonight. Uh, just thought I'd let you know. Uh, maybe around half 12, 12, 1, sometime like that. I won't be, I won't be too late. Um, but I won't be live tomorrow. And I'm sorry, but I'm going to, uh, see my parents. Be with my parents and see lights and be awesome and be great. Uh, thank you guys so much, Don't Uh, if you enjoyed the stream, you can find me fucking twitter.com slash maxgg's. Uh, if you want to be one of the first people to see the pictures of when I meet Katie Bugs in only three days uh, The next time that I'll be live uh, will be on Christmas Day And it will either be like a chill stream if I, when I'm sat here Or if my title is a Christmas dinner with Maxi G's You're going to receive a funny little silly creative Maxi G stream uh, For the first time in a couple of days Have an amazing one alright Have some great holidays Bye bye